We are delighted to have with us Hemant Batra, a global law and public policy expert and thought leader, to share his scholarly views on some key public policy issues. Welcome, Hemant. Thanks for joining in. Hemant, how do you evaluate and determine the impact of any public policy? Well, Cathy, it's, it's, a, it's, it's really a good question, rather, I would say, a fundamental question. Evaluation is the essence of any public policy to, to ascertain whether a specific policy has achieved, has achieved a given set of objectives, goals or not. Now, evaluation leads to the determination of a policy's impact for the purposes of making decisions about the prospects and, and future uh, and, and viability of the program uh, uh, or, or policy uh, for, the, for the future purposes, whether it should be kept ongoing. Now, evaluation is done by methodical, systematic and scientific methods, including research and surveys and, and investigations to determine how effective the implementation of public policy and its outcome has been. There are multiple ways by which one could do evaluation, you know, depending on the nature of the uh, public policy under evaluation, under scrutiny for, for, for its impact. Predominantly, there are three kinds of evaluation uh, to, to, to gauge the impact of a public policy or its success. First is the administrative evaluation where you evaluate the functioning of the administration which implements the said policy at the, at the, at the field level or uh, at the level of target population for which that public policy is made. You examine here as to whether it is actually manageable or not in, in a practical sense by the by the executive arm uh, of, of governance. You know, how workable is it uh, in terms of its execution process? The second is the result and effect evaluation. The result and effect evaluation. This is where one conducts surveys, interviews and research programs and due diligence exercises and, and also, you know, collect uh, collects, uh, uh, beg your pardon, real-time data to gather actual facts, figures and statistics of people who availed this policy or did not avail and, 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 and the ones who availed, how satisfied were they on a scale of, let's say, 1 to 10. Now, I'm, uh, Cathy, obviously explaining to you in, 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 in simple words. Now, finally, and Quite significantly, uh, the third uh, evaluation is, is the budget and time evaluation, the, the cost and time factor, whether, whether the implementation of policy led to cost efficiency and limiting the delays in terms of all the stakeholders, be it people as well as the uh, government. Cathy. Hemant, what socio-economic policy is suitable for mitigation of poverty? Right. Well, uh, Cathy, as, as per World Bank and IMF research reports, economic growth is the most significant factor influencing poverty. Now, Several statistical studies have concluded that there is a strong association between national per capita income and national poverty indicators using both income and, and non-income measures of uh, poverty. Now, I think uh, any stable and sustainable macroeconomic policy will yield results of poverty alleviation and reduction. Now, I would say 
you know, socio-economic policies such as efficient public investment in the country's health, education, uh, civic infrastructure and other priority social service sectors are key to poverty curtailment. Also, you know, popular measures as uh, privatization, trade liberalization, banking and financial sector reforms, uh, labor markets, um, the, the regulatory environment and the judicial system all are key in this uh, segment. Hemant, how can one boost the effectiveness of environmental policy? Well, you know, not giving a very technical answer to your question uh, and, and also as you told me the time is short for this session, uh, I would say that effectiveness of environmental policy can be ensured by Troika or three tier system of governance. Uh, the first tier is, is bringing about wider uh, educative awareness amongst all sections of the society about the implications of uh, uh, environmental policies, laws and regulations, you know, which, which directly deal with environmental protection and preservation. The second tier of effectiveness uh, uh, could be by signifying uh, you know, the, the professional and scientific uh, sustainable management of the environment, climate changes, natural resources and so on. And third tier, uh, Cathy, according to me, could be about the strict regulatory regime imposing harsh penalties in terms of physical and uh, 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 fiscal punishments uh, upon the defaulters of environmental policies and and, and laws. Himant, is the public policy meant to reduce consumption in any segment, having short supply actually viable and implementable? Yes, well, you know, public policy for the reduction of consumption is viable, you know, I feel, when, when there is no other alternative, obviously, and when there is a realization amongst those affected by it. it sometimes does work as a double-edged weapon uh, and at, at times as a deterrent or, or uh, you know, preventive means uh, as well. For instance, you know, when, when you impose high duties and taxes uh, and rationing measures on the tobacco products, you know, uh, like cigarettes, etc., it does lower sales and in a way reduces the consumption of tobacco health risk. But at the same time, it also causes dent to the revenue of the government and opens uh, floodgates for black marketeers and, and mafia for, for you know, smuggling uh, uh, the, these uh, banned uh, goods or, or if not banned, you know, uh, the goods which are regulated and, and also, you know, uh, getting uh, some, some standard illegal products in the market. Thus, a Proper enforcement machinery has to be in place for such public policies. Now, however, on the other hand, if we have to work for the attainment of sustainable development goals, you know, uh, we have no choice, absolutely no choice, but, but to make these policies viable. You know, it is, uh, it is, I would say, eventually and essentially inevitable you know, such public policies. Cathy. Thanks so much, Hemant. Look forward to more such sessions. Bye.